Hello and welcome to the Karen Family Diaries. I'm Kathleen. I have a two and a half year old son and a one and a half year old daughter. And this channel is kind of like capturing all the little moments, um, all their cuteness. Um, myself and my husband, Eddie, are planning to do a lot of travels over the next year. So we want to capture all those memories. This video is the Aussie mum tag. Um, it's funny saying that I'm an Aussie mum. If you were to ask me what nationality I am, I would say I'm Irish, but I'm also Australian. <laughs> so I would kind of add that on, but my first answer would be I'm Irish. Um, I am an Australian citizen. I've lived in Australia for seven and a half years and I love it here. Um, it's definitely a huge part of who I am. My children were born here. Um, just so many, so many things have happened to me here. Um, and so many positive things in my life. Um, but if you were to ask me, am I an Aussie mum or am I an Irish mum? I'd probably, I was thinking about this, like I, I probably have to say I would identify more as an Aussie mum because I've never been a mother in Ireland. Um, my kids are Australian. They have been, all they've known is Australia. Um, they are Irish too, but sort of primarily they're, they're Aussies. I seen uh, Rochelle Glendon doing this tag. Um, this is the first time I seen it um, and I loved it. I thought it was brilliant um, and her channel is amazing. I'm going to link her channel and all the other Aussie moms who have done the Aussie mom tag below if you want to go and check them out. First question, Vegemite or Promite? Um, Vegemite, definitely. Um, I resisted trying Vegemite for so long when I came to Australia first because I just associate it with Marmite and I hate Marmite um, and it you know looks kind of the same um, and then someone explained to me one day like it's a milder milder flavour than Marmite and I reluctantly tried it and I love it and my kids well I know Eddie O does um, I'm not sure about Noni yet but yeah Vegemite Neighbours or Home and Away, um, we used to watch Home and Away a lot when I was in university. Home and Away is massive in Ireland, um, but I don't actually watch any of them now. Uh, I don't have time, I've got two toddlers. <laughs> uh, Woolies or Coles, um, I do most of my shopping in Aldi, but then I go to Woolies or Coles for certain things. Um, Woolies is definitely my preferred one because they have a larger vegan range um, and I like their bakery stuff as well. What's the one thing about raising kids in Australia that you love? It has to be the outdoor life. Um, it's just the weather, you know, you can go out even when it's really hot in the summer. If you go out early in the morning, you can still get to the playground. Um, like we spend so much time at the playground and we go to the beach as often as we can. But when we lived in Perth, we were at the beach all the time. Is there anything you would want to change about Australia for your children's future? Um, yeah, I would like to see Australia celebrate its indigenous people more. Um, it's the one thing that really has, I found it quite daunting when I came here first. Um, like I, I like the way New Zealand really embraces their indigenous culture and peoples and I would like to see Australia move more in that direction definitely. What do you wish Australia had that other countries do? I mean for me personally this is just going to be like food things <laughs> um, like Irish things that you know I miss from home but in saying that like there are so many Irish people here that Woolies and Coles have an Irish, well, it's in the UK section, but there's Irish things there, like Irish crisps and gravies and curry sauces and things like that. So, um, what's your favorite city, town or holiday spot? Margaret River in Western Australia is definitely my favorite holiday spot in Australia and I've gone so many times when we lived in Perth we went a lot and I would definitely like to go again um, I just it's so chilled out it's real 
Oh, it's beautiful there and it's just the, the beaches are gorgeous and the town itself is so funky lots of little quirky shops and it's a real hippie feeling place I don't know it's just lovely and they've got loads of gorgeous wineries so if you had a choice would you continue to live in Australia or we could ask what is your heritage um, so yeah my heritage is obviously Irish um, it's a funny one. I do plan to move back to Ireland with the kids. Um, they're still so little and the majority of our family is in Ireland. And it's just, we're just missing out too much on that family connection. Um, and I do miss Ireland itself. Like I do miss the culture and, but it's hard, you know, you've got your one, foot in each country it's um the plan has always been to go back to Ireland um but we just have not haven't got around to it yet so that we are we are going to move back um and then you'd never know we we might come back out again to Australia at some point but um while we're raising the kids um I think we need to go home and spend some quality time with their grandparents and their aunties and uncles and yeah you're not Australian unless, I think <laughs> you're not Australian unless, and I'm, I'm looking at this as like an immigrant's um, perspective, unless you start picking up um, some of the lingo. Like, so when I came here first, I found it really funny how everyone says, no worries, no worries. And, uh, like gradually over time I started to I said it a few times and I'd catch myself and I'd be like oh because I used to say oh no bother or no problem um and then it just slipped out a few times and I'm like oh that's weird that I said that and um yeah it's just normal now I don't even notice it and how are you going how are you going I, I find that so confusing I was like do you mean how am I doing or but yeah, I think you're not Aussie. As an immigrant, you're not Aussie until you start picking up the lingo. <laughs> How do you like to spend Australia Day? This kind of comes back to the indigenous people. Um, I did celebrate my first, I think my first couple of Australia Days here. Um, in Perth, they had the Skyworks um, over the Swan River, which was amazing fireworks. Um, they they were really cool. They could do like fireworks in the shape of Australia and in the shape of a koala, I think, and loads of different things. Um, but I didn't realise at the time that Australia Day is actually celebrated on what was Invasion Day. Um, and there is a lot of hurt and... Uh, bad feelings about that I think it's very disrespectful to continue as an Australian I believe it's it's very disrespectful to continue celebrating it on that day when it's really hurting people um it's just disrespectful um so I don't currently celebrate it as such um you know it's a public holiday so we use the time off to do something nice as a family um, yeah, but we don't celebrate it as such. Um, I would like to celebrate it when the date changes, if that hopefully happens. What sports do your kids play? My kids are only two and a half and one and a half, so the sports they play at the minute are just running around like lunatics. <laughs> um, fave Aussie movie, this is so easy, Muriel's Wedding, and I loved this since I was a little girl, um, and I still love it. Um, even as, even as I was planning my own wedding three and a half years ago, uh, we kept referencing it all the way through. Yeah, I love, love that movie. Fave, Ozzy, celebrity, musician, and why? Um, it's a tough one. Um, I suppose my favorite Ozzy musician is Matt Corby. I think he's amazing. I just love his music. Which Aussie celeb are you sick of hearing about in the media? God, you could pick so many because like they just go on and on and on, don't they? <laughs> about people. Um, the it's this isn't like a celeb really, but currently the program that's on at the minute is um, Bachelor in Paradise, and it's only just started, but they've been running ads on it for the on uh, running ads for it on the telly 
for what feels like forever. And I, I, like every time I see it, I'm like, oh my God, stop. <laughs> so it's not really a celebrity, but that's what I'm currently sick of hearing about. Um, favorite typically Australian pastime? Going to the beach. Yeah, having a barbecue at the beach, I think. Um, favorite Aussie slang word, phrase? Um, I don't want to say this one because it's a swear word. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to skip that one because I do have a favorite one um, and I think it's hilarious, but it's a swear word and I don't really, this channel is kind of for my kids, so I don't really want to put that on here. <laughs> favorite Aussie animal? I love a kookaburra. Like, I love kookaburras. I just get so happy when I hear them. I didn't even know they existed when I came first to Australia. I heard them, I was doing, I was working as a traffic controller at the time and um, I heard them in the trees and I was like, There's, there isn't monkeys in Australia, like what the hell is that? <laughs> if you don't know what a kookaburra is, um, look it up. They are so cool. I look up laughing kookaburra, the sound they make. They're just, they're just class. Favourite Australian children's book? Um, I haven't actually got these for my kids, but um, I'm going to. When my when I was about maybe seven, my auntie and granny came out to Australia. Um, my auntie brought me back these books, the Blinky Bill books. Um, I loved them. I loved them so much. So I'm, I'm going to have to source some of them for the kids. I reckon they'd like them. They might be a little bit young. I can't remember. Yeah, but Blinky Bill. Um, favourite brand of nappies? Aldi. They're so much cheaper and they do exactly the same job. Uh, favourite family meal? At the minute, um, our favourite family meal is probably like a vegan shepherd's pie, is what I've been making, um, and roast pumpkin. That's I, that's my favourite at the minute. Um, everyone everyone likes it. The kids just love anything with mashed potato or pasta <laughs> and veggies. So that's it. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Um, yeah, so as I said, um, I'm going to link other Aussie mums that have done this tag below and you can check them out if you like. They're really good. Um, and there's some really nice channels there if you want to go over and support them. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.